hi welcome back to my channel my name is Josie today I'm sharing an organization video um, I have a chest freezer that I've been wanting to organize so if you caught my Daiso haul that I posted a little bit back I'll have it linked in the description box also at the end of this video in the cards um, anyhow in that video I purchased these organizing containers to organize my chest freezer so the chest freezer that I have, um, as the name suggests, it opens upward like a chest. So I wanted to make sure that things that I'm storing in there aren't getting lost on the bottom. And that way I don't have to funnel through. So I'm going to use these little containers and then the larger one that I shared. Um, let me flip you around, kind of show you what's going on inside the freezer right now, which it's kind of just a bunch of meat piled up on one another. And then we'll kind of organize that and I'll show you how it ends up. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the chest freezer. I have it stored in our dining room right now. So I actually put some tape, my husband and I put tape on the dial that controls the temperature so that our toddler would not mess with it and ruin all the items in here. Um, because this is where I keep all of the meat we get from Butcher Box. So as you can see, the chest freezer already has this little built-in container. That's kind of the extent to the organizing I've done. Quite literally, there's just meat upon meat upon meat. Like, it goes down several layers. Um, it's pretty deep, and I don't want to have to dig every time I come. So, my chest freezer... Let me move these and then talk has this little uh not a bench because you can't sit on it but a little build out I guess bulb out it's probably how it controls the temperature in here to make it cold um so that's why I got those smaller containers perhaps I'll put them there um so my first step is to take everything out start utilizing the bins let me close this because um, I don't want to release too much energy and then also in my Daiso haul I got this little whiteboard so as you can see it sticks on here I can open it and it stays this little marker also sticks so that way I can do an inventory list of what I have so I'm going to start pulling stuff out probably right on my inventory list at the same time and get this thing organized okay I have you set up as far back as I can you can't really see the full freezer in the frame. However, what I'm gonna start doing is just pulling the meat out and putting it in these bins. So you'll get an idea of what I'm doing. It's just that my counter has, um, or my kitchen has this countertop ledge and my tripod can't go any further. So for now, I'm putting kind of like convenience type items in the smaller bins. We'll see how we end up liking that. Um, and then I think maybe I'll do like a beef bin or chicken. Let's start putting all our chicken in that one. Ground beef, maybe I'll just leave in the little basket insert that goes in the chest freezer. So right now I'm going to put all of my chicken products in this bin. And then my beef products in this other bin because those are kind of the items that I buy the most of. We're a bit selective on the pork we, we eat. So some more beef. Some of these like bigger items, like this giant pork butt, I might just leave out because it's so heavy as well but I'm thinking this is gonna work a lot better for me because I feel like the packages of chicken are pretty large I don't really um or the pork I mean it doesn't need to go in a bin more chicken then I have two small things of pork the pork tenderloins I shared maybe I will put them with the bacon that would make sense as pork. I have two racks of ribs in there. I don't think I am going to um, put those, contain them in anything. So let me show you what we have so far. All right, so far 
We still have some ground beef in here. I haven't decided if I'm going to put it in my beef bin or not. We have some salmon and then two racks of ribs, a big old pork butt, and a whole chicken. I think these guys are going to stay outside of a bin for now. Let me close this. And then over here, we have chicken, beef, kind of some fast food items, bratwurst, pulled pork, chicken nuggets, and some pork. So let me organize this a bit better and then I'll kind of show you what we land on. Okay, so I got everything categorized and organized in the chest freezer off camera just because I was moving fast and I couldn't get a proper angle of what I was doing. But you did see the before in the beginning of what the chest freezer looks like. So let me flip you around and show you inside of the freezer now and how I think this is gonna be way better to stay organized and for us to eat through what we have. Okay, so here, on the top, I did a little inventory list, so now I have everything written down. I kind of did it quickly. Knowing me, I will probably rewrite all of this, so we shall see. I'll probably just take a photo and then rewrite it so it, my husband can understand what's happening, because IDK, if he'll know what B-I-S-O thighs mean, bone in, skin on, but my shorthand, you know? So this will stay attached. I can open the freezer door and it stays, so that's great. So now what we have going on here, um, let me see if I can make it a bit brighter for you guys. Here in this little section, I decided to leave our bacon, our bratwurst, and our pulled pork. That made sense to me. If we slide this over on that little bowl about, I put the pork tenderloin in the little container. And then this is all of the chicken we have. So we have our chicken tenders. I mean, chicken nuggets. This is drumsticks. We have some party wings. And then we have some bone-in skin on thighs. And then that's a wing and that's a thigh. So we have three packets of thighs, three packets of wings, two packets of drumsticks, and an extra bag of chicken nuggets. I have, well actually I need to put this one in my fridge freezer because we finished the other one we had in there yesterday. And then two pork tenderloins in that little guy. If I slide that over, you can see that I dedicated the other small container to the ground beef that I have right now. And I really like these containers because they're a really flexible plastic. Um, I think they will suit my needs. So see how I can move this entire thing out of my way when I'm trying to dig into the rest of my beef. So in the beef container, I have two flank steaks, a pecana, some burgers, uh, this is a brisket, I believe. So all of that's in there. And again, I have it on my inventory list exactly what's in there. Beef on the bottom. Here, I have our salmon. Um, let me actually put my ground beef back where it goes. And then I have my salmon here. Um, it's in its own bag, so I feel like it's fine. Most likely once my husband and son eat out of it more, I'll probably just put it in this little uh, basket to area. And then down here, I just have my bigger items. So I have my ribs actually standing upright. That's how deep this uh, freezer is. So I have two racks of ribs there. That's a sec That's the second one. That's a pork butt and then that's a whole chicken. So I can slide my rib right back into that little hole. And now everything has a place. I think I'm gonna keep my salmon just right there. I mean, it's the only seafood item we have. It's pretty clear that that's what's in there. Um, so yes, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Let me know if you want to see more organization videos or how you organize your chest or deep freezer if you have one. Thanks for watching. Bye!